Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze again the Bitcoin price and we're also gonna have a look on the Ethereum chart because right now Buff is pumping Ethereum and also Bitcoin. The pump that we covered yesterday, the possible breakout to the upside from this ascending triangle in the Bitcoin price and also in the Ethereum price is still going on and we didn't met the target yet. So it's not too late if you're going long right now, my friends. This pump is still ongoing and the targets are not yet met. So as long as we don't meet the targets, then I think we will see continuation to the upside and there are still no warning signs that we're gonna see a correction, which of course is still expected anytime soon, at least for now. So we're gonna cover all the time frames as usual and a little reminder, my friends, it is still the easiest way to multiply Bitcoin. If first you open up an account, of course, over on Coinbase, Swissborg or Binance to buy cryptos, to buy Bitcoin, buy Ethereum, and then a little bit of it, take it to open up up a nice long position over on Bybit or Femex. Those are the recommended exchanges. You find all my referral links down below here. If you still need an account because with my links you will get some bonus and you support the channel. And also currently we are doing really nice gains over on Prime XPT with the co-vesting feature. I also opened up a special thread over in my Discord trading chat in regards to this Prime XPT co-vesting feature because uh, like that we can discuss together easily what traders are good to follow and how is your experience with those traders here so together we can follow the most successful ones and like this maybe we can also multiply a little bit of bitcoins because with this co-vesting feature you don't have to do anything just top up bitcoin and then just click here on follow so it is good to catch the right ones of course because this is also very risky you can also lose here everything same like with leverage trading but at least here if you follow the successful ones you can a little bit multiply your bitcoins and you can see here the top traders this guy over here has almost 20,000 percent in gain so this is really amazing my friends and I also covered yesterday in this discussion that we had with this co-vesting thing my profits that I had with previous traders and also with these new ones that you see here that are racking in really nice profits so of course sometimes if you follow the wrong one you can get liquidated here or or you can get in losses but overall if you diversify and if you catch the right entry point here you can do really nice gains and therefore we have now this special chat over here in my discord trading chat if you want to join it then follow the link down below here it is completely for free and we have a great crypto family and this is also where you can get access to my own indicator live stream or if you want to get the codes for your trading view you can contact me over on discord if you're interested in getting the indicators that you you can see also here in my charts and now my friends let's start here in the one hour quickly in the Bitcoin price because as you can see right now we had here this breakout to the upside currently we have a new all-time high of around $38,200 it also looks like that we will see continuation to the upside only if we would crash again towards here the main support that we had in this ascending triangle so here at around $31,500 and start to close one hour or four hour candles below then I think we could be in a major correction which could take us way below 30k but as long as we're trading above the 200 moving average in the one hour and four hour we should be shifted to the upside so don't worry to scale in some nice long positions for now but of course always put a stop loss below important support levels so here it would make sense to put a stop loss at around $31,000 if you have already a long position or if you are scaling in some longs right now and now let's go straight over into the four hour time frame this is way more important because here you can still see that we are trading above all the moving averages here we had the chance to have a bigger correction potentially towards the 200 moving average right now $24,380 it didn't happen Bitcoin immediately recovered and right now we're seeing the breakout to the upside and we are maintaining all the important moving averages here to the upside especially here the nine moving average at 36,300 this would be a good long entry if you're scaling in from now down to this moving average should be a good entry point if we're gonna see here continuation to the upside potentially towards $41,000 this is my target to be met here for this breakout and then
then we're gonna see if Bitcoin gonna continue towards $46,000. That is the next Fibonacci extension level based on the old all time high of 20K that we had and the bottom in 2018 of $3,000. It is still very likely that we could even reach $46,000 within the next couple of days and there we're gonna see if Bitcoin is gonna create a support above or maybe there we're gonna create a blow off top and then this will potentially lead into a correction. But so far everything is still looking like that we're gonna see continuation to the upside. So don't worry my friends, go and open up some nice long positions. If you don't want to go with leverage, go without leverage and as soon as you are in profits then switch into like 10x or 20x or whatever and lock in those profits. So always put then your stop loss in profits and you should be doing good whatever the price is doing and now in the four hour it looks like that we maybe come down again to test here the nine moving average so take this trade opportunity if you want but keep in mind that we also could see a potential correction even down towards the 20 moving average here at around 34,000 before we see this clear breakout before we're going towards 40k and higher because the four hour currently is looking a bit toppy although if we have a look here into the Bollinger Bands we're still at the top trading right here at around $38,600 currently the top here of the Bollinger Bands and we also have the stochastic currently completely overbought and it looks like that we are cooling off here a bit so it is very possible that first before breaking 40k we are coming down again to test here maybe 37 maybe even 34 thousand dollar and then gear up to break 40k because this pump is still ongoing and we should see continuation to the upside even though the four hour is looking like that maybe we could have one last little test towards one of these two important moving averages and now let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can still see that we are trading above all the moving averages and as long as we're closing daily candles above the nine daily moving average which so far held as a very strong support we should expect the price to go higher and higher without any kind of bigger corrections and what we have seen so far these little pullbacks are not corrections i'm talking about big drops towards important supports like the 20k area or maybe even the 20 weekly moving average area at around 16 to 17 thousand dollar this is what I mean with correction and not these little pullbacks that we had so far so we never saw a big correction so far only little pullbacks and that's why my friends as long as we are closing the daily candles above the nine daily moving average we should be shifted to the upside and we shouldn't see here any bigger correction anytime soon only as soon as we're gonna start to close daily candles below the nine daily moving average and I think this will most likely happen after maybe a blow off top then we're gonna create a local top gonna get this correction that we're waiting for so long right now and then gear up for the next big parabolic move which will take us most likely way above 100k but so far everything is pointing out that we are not topping out here and we will see continuation towards 40k potentially even 46 thousand dollar let's see what will happen here with this breakout here from around 38 thousand dollar i think most likely latest today we're gonna see big fireworks here my friends because usually the biggest price action of the week always happens during a friday right before the weekend so the target for bitcoin is here to reach around forty six thousand dollar if we are seeing anywhere a bigger rejection then watch out here for the nine daily moving average at thirty three thousand dollar and of course here the 20 daily moving average at around twenty nine thousand dollar at the time of recording and if we go over into the weekly time frame and we zoom out a little bit here you can see the next fibonacci extension here the 2.618 at around forty six thousand nine hundred dollar and this is what i think could be the local top here if we see a blow off top but of course if bitcoin is going towards this price level here and also gonna create a support above same like we did above 30k and 20k then I think we will not stop there and continue higher towards our next FIB extension target of around $63,000. It seems a bit unlikely my friends but in Bitcoin everything is possible. Everything is gonna be depending how we're gonna react once we're reaching these big price levels of around 40k, 50k, 60k. If somewhere we're gonna see a big blow off top that could of course indicate that afterwards we're gonna start a correction but so far we don't have any kind of signs like that and we will see here for sure continuation to the upside and keep in mind that we're still very very overbought in the daily and also in the weekly. We have currently the RSI coming very close to the 100% level so this is really 
crazy my friends we are at the same levels like we had in 2017 that's why be mentally prepared that we could see at any time a bigger correction down towards the nine weekly moving average currently at $24,000, maybe even down here towards the 20 weekly at $17,000. This is at any time possible and Bitcoin would still look bullish here in the bigger time frames, but be mentally prepared to buy more if the price is like crashing down because it's gonna be very hard to buy when everything is looking like it's gonna crash down to zero, which never will happen, my friend. So don't worry buy more scaling longs if the price is crashing and if we are just continue to moon here enjoy the right lean back and enjoy your profits every day and now since we have covered the bitcoin let's go over to ethereum because currently although ethereum is breaking out and also here we are still far away from our target well it's not anymore so far away we should reach here uh, the target of around 1400 dollar i don't think that ethereum will stop there most likely it's going to do similar like bitcoin when we broke 20k we're going to start to create a support here and then just moonshot to the upside potentially towards 2000 dollar per ethereum so this is what I think will happen if Bitcoin continues to pump because also Ethereum is looking very very overbought here in the weekly and even in the daily we are getting very exhausted here but of course remember uh, also on Ethereum everything is possible my friends we can go also here very much parabolic especially in the altcoins Ethereum of course is a little bit more similar to Bitcoin usually it copy always what Bitcoin is doing sometimes it's lagging sometimes it's leading but overall all also here we could see big fireworks similar like in a Bitcoin and that's why I'm expecting that if we're reaching $1,400 we most likely are going higher so also in ethereum right now we are still pumping and we should expect a continuation to the upside although if we go over here into the lower time frames you can see that currently we are right at the nine moving average right at the support level so right now it is a good time to go long if you think that ethereum will reach at least one thousand four hundred dollar if you want to take this trade then make sure to trade it over on bybit and femex here you can also trade ethereum otherwise just buy ethereum and also hodl it because also ethereum will do very huge gains in the future my friends also here it is possible that sooner or later we have maybe a 40 or 50 percent correction but that is then of course a good buy opportunity and also a good long opportunity so also right now it is still not too late to buy ethereum even though we are coming again very close to the old old time highs same like we also had in bitcoin at 20k so currently it looks like that ethereum is lagging behind bitcoin and also here we should expect big fireworks to the upside and a little thing that i noticed my friends is that if you remember in 2013 the old all-time high of bitcoin let's zoom out here a bit because if you remember the old all-time high of bitcoin was in 2013 at around 1200 dollars so same like we had last time in 2017 in the ethereum price so imagine what will happen if ethereum is gonna copy what bitcoin did in 2013 so let's say we have right now the same all-time high and the next all-time high of ethereum will be also the same like we had in 2017 in bitcoin this would take us straight towards 20k for ethereum of course this is very much speculation but i just want to show you what can happen here in the crypto space so also on ethereum it's not out of the cards that if really fomo is coming in and with all the DeFi space that is based on ethereum we could also reach such amazing prices also in ethereum so this is in my opinion not an unrealistic target this 20k per one ethereum for the next big parabolic run so keep in mind that although ethereum can do really nice gains and it's also good to hodl a bit of ethereum i always tell you to keep the most in bitcoin of course because in the altcoins even if they pump a lot they can also dump a lot so usually it is always better to keep the most in bitcoin but i just tell you that if we're gonna see an altcoin coin season or if ethereum is really starting to take off here we have a lot of room left to the upside and 20k is also not far fetched for ethereum because remember that bitcoin also had such a run we came from 1200 dollars all time high and we reached 20k so it is not impossible also for ethereum to do something like that 
And with those words, my friends, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button, very much appreciated, and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos, and also follow me in my other channels, like over on Twitch and also Discord. Remember on Discord, we have a very great crypto family, and this is also where usually I update you if something is happening or if I have important announcements. So make sure to join me also on Discord and check out all the other links that you also find down below here because some of them for sure you can use and like that you can also get some more cryptos for example with the coinbase earn program i have a lot of invitation links down below here to claim free altcoins so take a look at all of those links some of them for sure can help you out especially if you're new in the crypto space so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now